Recently, Vadin announced a new web application framework called Hilla. Did you ever wonder what Hilla is and how it compares to Vadin? Hi, I'm Simon. In this short video, I will explain you the differences between Hilla and Vadin and try to explain when you should use which of these two frameworks. To better understand where these frameworks come from, let's have a look at the history. Vadin started more than 20 years ago. In early days it was based on GWT, Google Web Tool Kit. Later on they moved to Web Components and with version 10 Vadin Flow was introduced based on Vadin Components, a fully new created web application framework. Later on they introduced Vadin Fusion a TypeScript-based front-end framework uses lit as a web component library. And in version 23, this was renamed to Hilla. So first let's have a look at the architecture of what in Flow. As you can see here, we have uh, the application server, usually that's Spring Boot, but you can also use what in Flow with Quarkus. And you have components on the server. So here we have a Java component API that you can use to create your uh, web application. There are also HTML templates and themes that can be used to style the application. Then from these UI components, you create your user interface code and access the business logic of the backend. So you can use services or you can even use repositories or other data sources like uh, if you want to use Juke as the data access framework. On the other side in the browser you have web components, the HTML templates and the themes as well and the components on the browser side communicate with the components on the server side. So there is a communication between browser and server, that also means that you have the state on two sides. So you have a browser state and you also have the component state on the application server side. With that model, you develop your entire web application in Java. You don't need to write any TypeScript or JavaScript code. So Vadin Flow is for type safe Java APIs on the server side. It uses web components. Uh, by the way, it uses the same web components as we will use uh, with Hilla, as we will see later on. Then we have no REST API, because as you have seen in the architecture doc diagram before, um, you don't need to care about the communication between the client and the server. And you have a bidirectional data binding, that means if the user changes some uh, field on the client, for example, this will get propagated to the server. And if you set on the server a uh, text field, this will get propagated to the client. So Vadin Flow is a great choice if you want to use purely Java to develop web applications. Let's have a look. Uh, here we have a very simple example. We have a route, that's the hello view. Uh, it extends from some layout, but it comes with a few different layouts that you can uh, use. And uh, then we see how we create the UI. If you know Swing, AWT, or maybe Eclipse RCP and SWT, then this programming model will be very familiar to you. So it's exactly the same as you would create Java applications for the desktop. So you create a text field, a label, you add a button and the second parameter in the constructor of the button is the click listener and finally you add the text field, the label and the button to the vertical layout. Next have a look at Vadin Fusion architecture. Vadin Fusion was the first name of the framework, now it's called Hilla because it's easier to distinguish Vadin Flow as a Java framework to uh, Hilla as a TypeScript framework. So in that case, we have on the left hand side the browser and you now have a client side programming model. That means we have an app shell like with every single page application framework 
um, that uses uh, the TypeScript code. We have a routing um, and we have the views. So we have a main view, product view, and for example, and we have routes. So we have a root, we have uh, the products, and we also can have an ID with the products to go to the products detail view. Um, on the right hand side, we see the Java backend. Usually, if you use single page application frameworks like Angular or React, you would go ahead and create the REST API. With Wadi Infusion or Hilla, you don't need to create the REST API. So you create the endpoint, and Hilla will create all the necessary communication layer for you. So finally, it will uh, create kind of REST API on the server and on the client side, it will generate TypeScript code that you can use to access the endpoint. So you don't need to care about the REST API communication at all. Now, the idea of Hilla is that it integrates a Spring Boot Java backend with the reactive TypeScript frontend. So that means usually you create a self-contained system. That means you have in the same project, the client and the server. You can build the UI from web components. Then you have a reactive programming model with lit on the UI side, and you can use uh, also routing to display the views. Plus, you don't have to care about the build process. So with regular single page applications, you will have kind of webpack or vid to create um, the build. On the client side, you don't need to do that. You just build it with Maven and uh, the Hilla plugin will take care of all the build. As I already said, you don't need the REST API. This will be generated. It's even secure. We will see that in a minute. In contrast to Vadin, where you have client and server state, with Hilla, you just have the state on the client. So you can avoid the server state and you don't need a server session. That means the backend of a Hill application is fully scalable without taking care of any server side state. As I mentioned, Hilla uses lit. Lit is a library to build lightweight web components. Uh, before lit, uh, Usually Polymer was used. Lit is also a framework from Google and replaces Polymer. If you want to know more about Lit, just go to lit.dev and you will find tutorials and documentation how you can use, even without Hilla, so Lit can be used uh, for building web components. So let's see how a Hilla front-end view looks. First of all, we create an element. An element is a web component, so the web component's name will be Hello World View, and we extend from a class generated by Hilla, it's called View. In the end, it's just a lit class that you extend, and we can have a state here in the class, and in the render method, we create the UI. So the Vadin text field and the Vadin button are exactly the same as we have seen with the, the Java code, so we have a button text field with a label. We can uh, create the value changed event here in this value changed event, handle the name changed method. Uh, the value of the event will set to the internal state, the name. And then we have a button with a click listener and the click listener is called say hello. And in say hello, we will show a notification with the name that is inside, uh, that is set in the text field. The endpoints of a Hilla application are secure, secure by default. That means you have to use uh, Spring Security or Jakarta E um, annotations, like we have here the permit all uh, that indicates that this method can be accessed by any user, or we can use a role allowed to define that the method only can be used from a role called admin. So when should you choose Flow or when you should choose Hilla? I would choose Vadin if you want to do full stack development with Java. So if you're in a team that does full stack development and you are all Java developers and you don't want to care about TypeScript, JavaScript programming, and just want to have a Java UI component based programming model, then you should go with Flow. If you want to avoid server state, 
and maybe have a dynamic reactive front end and add some more logic to the client, you should go with Hilla. Hilla is a great fit if you want to create self-contained systems. So that means at the end you will have a single jar that you can deploy or a Docker image depending on your build process that contains both the client and the server. So you're free to choose. By the way, you can also mix Flow and Hilla. So that's it from the comparison of Vadin and Hilla. I hope you liked the video and please don't forget to like and subscribe.